What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. You know, it looks like Ty Lue is still confused about who he wants to be the starting point guard. And the season is approaching a lot faster than what we can even imagine right now. Because preseason is now and, you know, the season is right upon us. And it seems like the Clippers are still kind of confused about who they want their point guard to be. And, you know, when I, when I when I think about that, you know, it just tells me how hard these guys are playing. Between Reggie Jackson and John Wall, both of them are playing hard. Both of them are getting physical both of them are playing very good in the workouts and both of them are looking very good based upon the reports that i'm seeing you know i looked at um bleacher report and you know sports illustrated and you can see some of those things you know read some of those things where you know that battle of the point guard of the starting position is getting very very interesting and even though it's still going on because in the off season early in the off season you know when they acquired you know john wall um Ty Lu put it out there then that it'd be a battle to see who would be the starting point guard. They would battle it out between him and Reggie. And the fact that they both have respect for each other and, you know, happy that they're on each other's team and their teammates and they're both battling with good competitive competition is 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 very in, insightful if you're a Clippers fan because it shows you that you got two guys that can play the position pretty well and two guys that can play the position at a high enough level to be a starter now as i said before Reggie jackson to me is a number two player he is a shooting guard over a point guard any day but in the same time he, he has played point guard for the clippers the last couple seasons and played it pretty well and you know that's why i think you know, it's hard to really make a decision for Ty Lue because Reggie Jackson is used to playing with the Clippers and he's used to playing in that point guard position, whereas John Wall is not used to playing with the Clippers, but he's a natural uh, point guard. And with him being a natural point guard, of course, that's what the Clippers have been missing. And I think that it's more or less because they want to get John Wall acclimated to the culture of the team and the rhythm and the chemistry of the team before they actually put the ball in his hands and he beat the starting point guard. Plus, they also want to know whether John Wall will stay healthy enough to make it through a whole season because John Wall has been injury prone, you know, throughout his career and um, he has been through a lot. And, you know, just making sure and being precautious that, you know, he can handle the role of being a starting point guard is very, very tough. So they want to see if he can actually you know go through the motions of being that and you know possibly mid-season maybe later toward mid later in the season you might actually see john wall be the starting point guard and reggie jackson slide over to the two of course pg slide to the three Kawhi can play the three or the four maybe even four at times and then of course zubak in the paint at, at the number five position you might actually see the lineup like that so i mean don't be surprised if you do, because, you know, Ty Lue is definitely, you know, the one that likes uh, making lineups interchangeable and making lineups a little bit more interesting as they go, because he likes to, you know, mix up his lineups and see who really gives him a better opportunity to win. And I think that's a really good thing that Ty Lue does. It can be a bad thing at times because, you know, consistency sticking with one lineup can get you a real far at times, too, because everybody knows role everybody's used to it and everybody stays acclimated with it going forward and build off top of what they what they started so i mean it's it's, it's, it's a gift and a curse you know it's a good and a bad thing i should say excuse me to to interchange your lineups but it's also good to really see what you have on the bench because when you think about the clippers they got pieces on the bench that really played substantial minutes last year and nobody thought they were any good at all especially you know a player like amir coffee he was way at the bottom of the bench and now he's a valuable player for the clippers and i now you'll probably see him play some significant minutes in the regular season of course and more likely possibly in the playoffs too because of you know how what type of guts and everything he showed last season without the services of Kawhi and pg being there he stepped up quite quite a few games and played very well so with that being said you gotta look at this and um you know take it with uh um with, with the thought that you know, the Clippers as a team 
you know they gotta they, they gotta figure out a way to to gel but at the same time they gotta have everybody in the right place and i think john wall will be a starter for the clippers at some point just not right now with the clippers because i don't think he's really ready to be a starter because like i said you gotta see where he is he hasn't played meaningful basketball in a while and he hasn't played for a team that was worth a damn in a while so i mean you know playing for a team like the clippers that's built for a championship they got to have john wall be on point that he can't be you know half-assing he has to be the john wall close to what he was you know back then he doesn't have to quite be that but at times he has to be he has to show flashes of that and still play consistent basketball consistent high q basketball high iq basketball to help the clippers win so we'll see if john wall can do that we'll see if he's you know ready to do that we'll see if you know he's, he's really ready for the challenge because i know reggie jackson is reggie jackson is ready to go through the season and be the starting point guard because they didn't know they were getting john wall reggie jackson looked at it like he would be the starting point guard going into this season anyway so when that being said but either way, I expect, you know, either guy who's out there on the floor to play their their best, give it their all, and be the best they can be because both guys are going to be needed to win a championship. Both guys are going to be needed to go through the motions of the season and see how they can pan out and see who can actually give the Clippers the best chance to be the starter. Um, I'm kind of shocked that, you know, it's still kind of up in the air right now, but at the same time, I do expect um, great play of both players, and I expect uh, both players players to you know respect each other while they're both on the court and go from there okay